two Animal Crossing themed Nintendo Switch Lite cases have been launched this week. We've had a look at the first one, now we're going to look at the second one. So join me as we look at the Tom Nook case for the Nintendo Switch Lite made by FunLab. Hello and welcome to Console Accessories. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're looking after each other. And welcome to part two of this week's Animal Crossing themed Nintendo Switch Lite cases. Okay, so today's video, as we said from the introduction, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Tom Nook Switch Lite case from Fun Lab. And this is the second part of two videos I've done this week. I'll leave a link below of where you can see the the island case that I did earlier in the week and this is part two so this is the second one of two that I'm doing this week um if you're an Animal Crossing switch Lite fan what a time to be alive there are so many Animal Crossing themed switch cases it's brilliant I've done most of them uh, the vault case the Etsy case the leaf case I've done them all you, you spoil for choice and just when you thought you know there was going to be no more Fun Lab come out, come out with two absolute crackers. So pleased with these two. Okay, so if you stick the thumbs up if you like this video, do subscribe around here. It would mean so much to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so let's have a look. Look at this. Tom Nook on the front. Brilliant design. Love it. And then not much else. It says Fun Lab on the side and a bit of gump on the back just to say about it and what it's made of and stuff. And then when you open it up look at that absolutely fantastic so this case like like the island case is really well done so this this tom knock on here if i can show you this this is like an extra piece on here so it's got a bit of a bit of dimension to it excellent and as in the other one if we go over it it's just two tones so this flap here on the front is sewn onto the back there and let's have a feel of the quality shall we let's give it a good there we go that ain't coming off really nice quality too and that's the one let's open it up so we've got two magnets here that attach it so if i hold this and pull it decent enough resistance as we open up a nice card on point branding with a card polystyrene get rid of that and then we've got a space for one, two, three, four, five games. So if we put a, a few games in, and in there, okay. And then inside, it's kind of got this leather feel. So if I look, show you, see that kind of leathery look. It's PU leather. It feels leather. It looks like leather. It certainly smells like leather. So, but it is PU leather. And then let's fit the switch inside. Perfect. How good is that? How nice is that case? If you're a fan of Tom Nook, this is, <laughs> this is excellent, isn't it? Love it. And let's have a look at the switch in there. Perfect fit. I'm gonna rattle around. You can put some things in there if you want to. It's not designed for anything else other than the switch in a few games. You could put a cable in there. It would add a bit of bulk and you're not gonna wanna put it the front there because it scratch the screen. But you want to put it at the, you could put it in the back there if you want to. So maybe some some earbuds or a cable too. But like I say, it's not designed for that. So okay. So let's give it let's give it the sizes and the, the weights. Let's take games out so you can weigh it. And it is 187 grams. Let's put that into give you some sort of context. This is 200. So it's 100 grams less than your switch light so it's, it's nothing it doesn't weigh anything weigh negligible. and then let's measure it so we're looking at width of 23 centimeters a height of 11 and a half centimeters and a depth of around four and a half five centimeters so not the smallest case but then again not the biggest either but it is made of this nice good quality material feels nice 
So let's put the switch. Let's put the switch back in. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to compare it to other cases, Animal Crossing cases as well, just in case you've got one of them and you fancy upgrading to this, I can kind of give you some sort of context on the, the size as well. So let's start off with the, this is the Aloha leaf case. So you can see that, it's more that way. And then if we do that, it's about the same height and then depth. Remember, this is full of stuff. So it's a bit thinner. Okay, that's the Aloha leaf case. And then we're gonna do, next up, we're gonna do the, the vault case. But remember, this vault case is designed for the Nintendo Switch as well, so it's going to be bigger, but it's not that much bigger, is it? And then height-wise, not that much higher. And depth-wise, not that much more deep. Okay, so that's the vault case. And then we're gonna go and look at the, um, Alo um, this is the Aloha Leaf case from Etsy that we did a while ago. It's a bit higher, about the same width, and then the depth as well. It's a bit deeper. Okay, see what I mean about sport for choice on cases. It's unbelievable. Okay, so also what I want to test with is I have a Tom Top grip here. So let's test it with the grip in, in the grip. So it's in a grip kind of case thing. Not a problem at all. Not a problem. I think if you're going to be using any sort of grip, as long as it's not hugely wide, I don't think you're gonna have a problem. So like, for example, my Skull & Co grip. So here it is here. It will work with it in this, not a problem. But when you wanna start adding some, um, some grips, it won't work with these on. It will work with the very thin ones, not with these ones, but even without them, not a problem. Okay, so I'd say with most grips, it's gonna be fine to fit in there. And then finally, if you're like me, I use this a lot. This is the flip case, the official flip case. I use this quite a lot. So pop that in and it works in there. That's if you wanted it if you want to keep it in this, because I kind of keep it in this, just so I can play it like that, with the case, with the case as well. If you want something else, because this looks really boring, and it's really dull. If you want to be a bit more interesting, you can put it in there like that. So, what do you think? How do you like, how do you like this one? How do you like this case? Do you, do you like it or do you prefer it to the, the island case? Which one takes your fancy more? Is it the Tom Nook case or the island case? I'm, I'm so pleased that FunLab have done this because these two cases are absolutely brilliant. And I'm always on the lookout for a new case and to, to show off on the channel. And when they drop these two, so this one's been out for a couple of weeks and the island case has been out since the weekend. I was so pleased. And I paid 14 pounds 99 for this on Amazon. You can get this for $18.99 in the US. I haven't seen it for sale in Australia or the EU as yet. I'm sure it's coming, it's just I haven't seen it yet. So if you want to get it, you'll probably need to import it from Amazon UK or Australia if you get it from the official fun lab, um, the US site. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think, and which one's your favorite, this one or the island case, because they're both beauties. Let me do, let me know. And if you've got any, if you've got a grip or anything like that and you want me to test it and you want me to just measure it up to see if it fits inside this case, do let me know in the comments below. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do my best to help you out. And as I said before, please stick a thumbs up, do subscribe and hit that bell icon so we can be notified when the next Animal Crossing thing, Nintendo Switch Lite case comes out, which won't be long, I'm sure. You're spoilt for choice. So pleased. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, what a time to be alive. Okay. Thanks very much then. Any comments below, any questions, do let me know and I'll happy to get back to you. And until the next video, bye-bye.